Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me on Dropping Some Knowledge. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to show you how you can find out if your wine that you're about to drink is corked. The first thing that you have to do is you obviously have a beautiful wine that you're about to open or your sommelier is going to open or maybe you're at a dinner or a manager meeting and you kind of want to be the one that's in charge of ordering the wine. When you want to know if a wine is corked or not, the best thing that you can do is to smell the cork. Corks are where the wine gets corked from. Synthetic corks that look like plastic, they cannot be corked. So the good thing about any wine that has a synthetic cork, you don't have to worry about if it's corked or not. Smelling the cork is never a bad thing to do, um, but I highly recommend doing it for every wine that you open. Going into corks that have been pulled apart, so it's kind of like a um, particle board cork. What it is is it's cork that's pulled apart, it's bleached, it's put back together with glue. It's not a bad thing, but these, they're meant to not be corked. So everything's done, they're kind of cleaned before they're put in. Um, this cork on the other hand, this is a real cork, um, which is coming from a tree. These can be corked. The best thing I can tell you to do is anytime you open a wine, smell the cork. It's not a bad thing. Feeling the cork doesn't do anything. Looking at the cork, yeah, cool. You can look at the cork as long as you want, but what you're actually doing is the side of the cork that is touching the wine, what you want to do after it comes out of the wine is you want to smell that. What you're doing is you're smelling to make sure it doesn't smell like wet cardboard or wet newspaper or it has this moldy kind of musky aroma. What that is is it's a yeast that when the cork is made naturally, this yeast that's in the air will attach itself to a part of the cork board, allowing the cork to become contaminated. As soon as the cork hits the wine, when it's inside of the bottle, it's immediately bad. So unfortunately, there, there, there are machines that can test it, but they cost a lot of money and not all wineries are on that, uh, whatever, that path. So now we went over kind of what the corks were and the different styles of corks. The next thing we have to do is we're gonna kind of put it in play, right? So let's say you're out in dinner and you have a sommelier recommend some wine to you. A sommelier is someone in a restaurant that their sole purpose is to sell you wine and to make good recommendations to go with your food and to kind of enhance your experience, which is what I do pretty much on a daily basis. So you have your wine, right? The sommelier, what he's going to do is he's going to open the wine for you, okay? You take your corkscrew, you take the wine cork out. All right. Perfect. Good sound. Every time you get the cork, the first thing you want to do after the wine's opened is you want to smell the cork. You smell the part where it was just touching the wine. What you're looking for is something that smells moldy, musky, um, old newspaper, old damp newspaper that were in your basement or in your attic. You're looking for a foul aroma. If you get a foul aroma, that means that the wine is corked. Don't just assume for sure that the wine is corked. The next step is to make sure that you smell the wine. Even if the cork does smell off, it does not mean that the wine is necessarily bad. The best thing that you can do is smell the wine. Give the wine a chance, see if it smells bad. After you smell it, if it doesn't smell moldy, if it doesn't smell like wet cardboard, make sure you're using your senses. If you know for a fact that the wine is sound, it's not bad, then you can accept the wine and then you can give it to your guests. If the wine smells bad, don't be afraid to let someone know, especially the person that's serving it to you, it's not going to hurt them in any way. The wine is going to be returned to the supplier, the supplier is going to get their money back, we're going to get our money back as Psalms, and then you're going to get a wine that you want to enjoy the rest of your night. Alright you guys, so today we spoke about how to determine if a wine is corked, what kind of cork types there are and how to kind of act inside the restaurant when you do find a wine that is corked. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, follow me. There'll be more videos in the future. Um, once again, thank you so much for joining me on Dropping Some Knowledge. I appreciate it. That's a good one.